Jerry of the Circus. For Jerry of the Circus. yourself down, Jerry. I ought to smack this horse a good and right in the nose. You know, way like that. No, don't hit him, Spike. He, he couldn't help it. I, I didn't have the saddle tight enough. He's just a colt. He doesn't know any better. This is only the second time he's been ridden. Uh, take it easy, doggy. The boy's all right. Yeah, I'm all right, Greg. Just a little... Just a little out of breath, well, though. Just sit down on the ground there till you get your breath back. Well, hello, Rags. Give me your paw. Well, he did it. He gave me his paw. Sure, I taught him good manners. Yeah, I'll say you did. Say, he's a swell little dog. You can't say as much for this horse of yours. Oh, Splendor's all right. And you don't have to hold on to him, Spike. He won't run away. Oh, oh, I don't know about that. He ran away with you, didn't he? No, he didn't run away. He just got excited when the saddle slipped. He just kept going around in a circle. Yeah, that's right. Well, all right then. I'll let loose of him. Go ahead and eat some grass, Pony. I don't know how to thank you for saving me. Ah, forget it, Jerry. I was glad I happened to be coming by this way and heard you hollering. Besides, uh, this makes us even now. What do you mean, Spy? Well, you sort of saved my life, too. I saved your life? Sure. And you got me this job. I didn't get it for you. Mr. Murray just told me to go look for a strong man to take Zeke's place. And you were looking for work, so I told you Mr. Murray was looking for a man. Well, anyway, I'm awful thankful to you. I needed a job pretty bad, Jerry. This job means everything to me. You did look kind of hungry and sort of pale. Well, I was more than hungry and pale, Jerry. I, I was desperate. I just had to find work. Golly, I, I didn't know it was that bad. Yep. And I got plenty of business to attend to. Must be important, huh? It is important, Jerry. I've got to see a man. He doesn't expect me, and I don't think he's as anxious to see me as I am to see him. But I'm going to see him. Is he a friend of yours? No, hardly. Rags! Rags, come here. Keep away from Splendor. <laughs> Looks like Rags kind of likes that pony. He doesn't take his eyes off him. Rags is real friendly. He likes most everybody. <laughs> I think he took a shine to me. He gave me his paw and wagged his tail like he was greeting an old friend. Sure he likes you, Spike. You really think he does? I'm sure of it. Here, Rags, come here. I can tell by the way he acts. Well, that makes me feel pretty good, Jerry. Why? Well, because they say dogs have a pretty good sense. Uh, I, I mean they can judge humans. You mean that they only like nice people? Yeah, that's what I mean. Well, I guess that's right. Because when we first joined the circus, there was a man named Lorenz who was awful mean. And Rags didn't like him right from the start. Yeah? Uh-huh. And finally, Lorenz held up Bennett, the paymaster, and stole the payroll money. You don't say. Yeah, but they caught him all right. Now he's in jail for about 20 years, I think. <laughs> Come here, Rags. Ah, nice fella. Mm, you're all right. See his tail, Rags? He sure does like you, Spike. And if I was bad, he'd growl at me, wouldn't he? He sure would. Huh. Too bad they don't use dogs on juries so they can pick the right man. What do you mean, Spike? Mm, oh, nothing. Oh, how do you feel now? Got your breath back? Yeah, I feel all right. I guess I better get Splendor now and tie him up in the horse tent. Oh, I'll get him for you. Okay. Well, Rags, I guess I was pretty lucky this fight came along and saved me, huh? Go on, Jerry. Okay. Uh, this little pony seems to be gentle enough. Oh, sure. He's a grand little horse. Aren't you, Splendor? 
<laughs> well, I declare, it looks like he knows what you're saying to him. He does. He's smart. Come on, Ray. So you seem to get along with animals mighty fine. I guess that's because I love them. Yeah, that might be. To say, hold that canvas to one side, Jerry. Okay. Now, uh, where's he go? Just tie him up right here. Wait, I'll, I'll get his rope halter. Okay. I'll take this bridle off and uh, you slip the halter on him. Here we are, Splinter. Now, now I guess we better get this saddle off. I don't guess it's any too comfortable to have it hanging on him like this. Yeah, poor Splinter. I'll bet he was more scared than I was when the saddle slipped. I guess you got it figured out right, Jerry. That's why he started running around like he did. I thought at first maybe he spilled you on purpose. Oh, no, he wouldn't do that. Well, here you are. Where's the saddle go? Just put it down right there. Yeah, that's that. Goodbye, Splinter. See you later. And the next time we ride, I'll see that the saddle doesn't slip. Uh, going to ride him again, huh, Jerry? Sure, why not? Just because something happens once doesn't mean it's going to happen again. Say, that's mighty good reasoning. Well, you coming? Uh-huh. Come on, Ray. So long, Splendor. I guess it's almost time for supper. At least my stomach tells me that. The flag's up yet. It isn't. Hey, look, there's Bombs. Well, who's that? Don't you know Bombs? No, I don't think I do. Well, you will in a minute. Uh, hi, boss. Uh, hello there, Jerry. Say, he's one of the clowns, ain't he? Uh-huh. Are you all finished working out Splendor? Yeah, but I don't know whether I worked him out or he worked me out. Oh, excuse me. Bumps, this is Spike, the new man Mr. Murray got in Zeke's place. We're well, glad to meet you, Spike. Well, same here. Spike just saved my life, Bumps. Oh, no, it wasn't that bad. Oh, oh. Well, the flag's up. Let's go eat. And I won't have to be invited twice. Come on. Come on, Ray. <laughs> well, you ever been with a circus before, Spike? Uh, no, I haven't, Bumps. This is the first time, and uh, I think I'm going to like sure it. Sure you will. There's just something about a circus and circus people that, well, it sort of gets under your skin. What was the last job you had, Spike? Why, uh, well, uh, I haven't had a good job since, uh, well, I guess it's been over four years, Jerry. Well, I guess things have been pretty tough. It's not so easy to find something to do. You were lucky Mr. Murray needed a man. Oh, yes, I was. Very lucky. Well, Paul's a nice fellow to work for, too. He's easy to get along with, and if you get along with him, you can stay with this outfit as long as you like. Well, that's swell, but, well, I, I don't think I'll join out again next season. Spike has some business to attend to. Oh, that's so? Well, every man to his own liking. I, for one, wouldn't give two cents to have to live and work in a big city all the time. I guess the travel bug has bitten me pretty hard. <laughs> I really enjoy going from one town to the other and seeing new places all the time. I do, too. I think the circus is great. Why, I wouldn't give it up for anything. Well, you see there, Spike? <laughs> it's in Jerry's blood already. The boys do to spend his life with a circus. Well, he could spend his life a whole lot worse. Yeah, you're right there. A circus isn't the worst place in the world. There's no telling what I might turn out to be. I might be a lion tamer like Jason when I grow up, or a trick rider, or maybe an aerialist. Well, how about a tightrope walker, or maybe even a clown? Sure, I might be a clown. <laughs> I'd like to be a clown. <laughs> Yeah, but you haven't made up your mind yet, huh? No. Hey, look, Bumps. There's Mr. Bradley heading for the mess stand. Hmm? Oh, yeah. Oh, hey, Johnny. Hey, wait for us, and we'll go in and eat with you. What? Why, I thought I was the first one to see the flag go up. Not while Jerry has a good pair of eyes. <laughs> I think his stomach tells his eyes to watch that flag all day. Oh, yeah? Well, it wasn't me who saw the flag go up. It was you, wasn't it, Spike? Well, I guess that's right. He's got you this time, Bumps. Yeah, Jerry doesn't like to be kidded about eating so much, <laughs> but I go right on kidding him. Greetings, friends. We do now go forth to partake of the culinary achievements of our splendid chef. <clears throat> well, could you say that in plainer English, Johnny? To be sure. Why, I can put it this way. We are now going into the mess tent to sample the vittles and find out what the spread is for tonight. <laughs> <laughs> That's better. We understand you now. <laughs> well, shall we go in? Well, uh, here's where we part company. Uh, I go in the long end. Oh, uh, say, uh, Spike, yeah? uh, uh, did you ever work for Randall before? Nope. Uh, this is my first job with, uh, with any circus. Why? Oh, well, I, I'm just trying to place you, That's all. Thought maybe we'd work together at some time or other. No, I, I don't think that could be. Well, uh, I'll see you later. Bye, Spike. And thanks again for saving me. Oh, yeah, thanks, Spike. Don't mention it. Rags, you run over the wagon now, and maybe I'll bring you a nice bone if I can get one for you. Go on, be good dog now. Mm. Spike's face is surely familiar to me. Oh, he probably looks like someone you know. Yes, maybe so. Say, uh, what's this about your thanking him for saving you, Jerry? Oh, I was riding Splendor out in the back of the horse tent. I didn't get the cinch strap tight enough and the saddle slipped. And Spike just happened along in time to catch the pony and save Jerry from a bad bum. Well, now, think of that. Here we are. Sit down there, Jerry. Okay. 
I take it then, you're not such a very good horseman, Jerry. I am too. It was just an accident. Oh, oh I see. There's a pretty sure thing it won't happen again, though. I'll say it won't. I'll make double sure to get that cinch strap good and tight next time. Ah, here comes the food. Evening, gentlemen. Well, hello, Bismarck. <laughs> What's on the bill of fare? This yes, sir, I am lamb stew. And it am really fine. It looks mighty good, Bismarck. It's the best as you ever tasted, yes, sir. <laughs> Golly, that's a funny name, Bismarck. Is that really his name? Oh, I don't think so, Jerry. He was probably picked up in Bismarck, North Dakota, when he first joined out with the show. You know, circus folks have a habit of calling newcomers by the name of the town they came from. Oh, so that's it. That's why they call the guard that worked for Olson. Uh, what's his name now? Oh, yeah, Springfield. Yeah, that's right, Jerry. He most likely joined us in Springfield. <laughs> One of the Razorbacks is called Chickasha. <laughs> that's a funny name. <clears throat> hey, well, this is good. Uh, hand me a piece of that bread, Jerry. Yeah, here you are. Want some milk? Yeah, you just pour me some, there. You too, Mr. Bradley? Yeah, what's that? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Thank you, Jerry. I'm sure hungry tonight. <clears throat> tonight? <laughs> Aren't you hungry every night? Aw, oh, Bumps, quit kidding me. Well, I heard one of the cooks say his food bill went up quite a bit since you joined the show. He did not. Yes, he did. Well, I don't eat any more than you do. Well, that's quite a bit for a boy. <laughs> oh, say, Johnny, why aren't you eating? Your food will get cold. Oh, um, uh, uh, I was just thinking. This lamb stew is swell, Mr. Bradley. Well, there must be something awfully important on your mind, keeping you from these fine vittles that you've got. Uh, say, uh, Jerry. Yeah? Uh, remember that poster we saw down at the post office in the last town we played? You mean the one with the picture of the man that was wanted for breaking jail? Yes, that's the one. And you said you thought you knew who it was or had seen him. Uh-huh. What about it? Well, uh, I think I know who that man is. I'm not exactly sure yet, but I'm going to find out. Find out for sure if I'm right. Golly, well, who do you think it is? Well, I'll tell you just as soon as I'm a little more certain. Mm -hmm. 